man who has spent a decade atop WWE with the accolades to prove it. is an architect, a visionary, and a revolutionary who adapts to challenges like a chameleon. Seth Rollins will do whatever it takes, find any strategy to further his greatness. I don't think anybody in WWE runs their mouth quite as much as Seth freaking Rollins. Yeah, but nobody delivers on their promises like he does either. He looks great with all that gold on him. And representing the Brothers of Destruction from Death Valley, weighing in at 309 pounds, one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, and one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, The Undertaker! It's gotta be twice as nice carrying around two titles. I don't know, Saxon, that's a lot of weight to carry both physically and mentally. The target on his back is now twice the size. We have never seen a landscape this competitive, and yet he stands before us holding multiple championships. No one's in his league, and he's got the hardware to prove it. Two championships. You better believe all eyes are on him. Make way for the head and of the table. Representing the bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions and the WWE Champion, Herman! Herman! Yeah, yeah. Three plus years at the top of WWE for this man. Nobody has been able to defeat the Tribal Chief. A reign of epic proportions. Dozens have tried. Dozens have failed. Think about this. Hall of Famers, main eventers, crossover stars. None of them have been able to defeat Roman Reigns. You can love him or you can hate him. But you must acknowledge him. A certified GOAT. Reigns is now an unstoppable force. Oh, yeah, I am pumped for this guy. This competitor is just way, way too aggressive. They need to do some breathing exercises or something. Unlock the inner peace. I'm a little surprised to hear that from you, Corey. You endorse anyone who brings a little animosity to the ring. Well, maybe sometimes I do, but this is too much. They should dial it back. Do some yoga. Yeah. Yeah. Say what? Let's go!
The competition level has never been higher, but this guy's ready to prove he can hang. Over the years, we've seen a lot in Extreme Rules matches. Forklifts, spears to the announce table, balls moving into the crowd. Always a great time. One thing I've learned over the years, Michael, is blink as little as possible. If you do, you might miss a historic moment in this one. Well, I've learned that you got to keep your head on a swivel because more often than not, someone's getting thrown our way. Off into the pin. He's able to kick out before two. These men knew this match was going to be hard fought. I think we know what's coming next. Jumping knee drop. So precise. Vaulting plancha. Incredible. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risks with minimal trepidation. No fear. Absolute reckless abandon. Corey, in an Extreme Rules match, what do you think is the best winning strategy? Winning, Cole? <laughs> in an Extreme Rules match, you basically have to settle for merely surviving. But to answer your question, I'd say stay tough. Never let your opponent see the toll this especially violent match is taking on you. If you show weakness, it'll only embolden them to strike harder. Oh, they're just punishing their opponent now. Face first! Appreciates that version of acknowledgement. We are witnessing a malicious string of attacks right now. Ah, oh, just trying to pound their opponent into the ground even further. And you can tell there are true intentions in mind right now. This is getting more and more alarming with each uninterrupted attack. Is it enough here? And he stops the count. Lucky him. Uh oh. Rawls dodges in the nick of time. Script on him there. Both competitors showing how well they know what they mean. And continuing to put under here. And he makes the save for his team. I'd be running if the Undertaker looked at me like that. Uh oh. Batten down the hatches. And a series of vicious stumps. The Tribal Chief taking a moment to compose himself. Looks more like taking a moment to gloat. Put in a position now. Slow down. These men have given everything they have and more at this point. This is a critical moment now to see who can find a way to keep going. Cranking the head. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. And he goes into the ring. Ooh. Snapmare is delivered by the reins and a... This is it! And a kick out at two! Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Look at that. This could put a stop to The Undertaker. I am shaking my head in disbelief over how he managed to get the shoulder up. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. In order to succeed in an extreme rules match, you have to be willing to sacrifice your body a bit, guys. Gosh, what a match. Steer clear of that. Rollins. There's the forearm to the back of the neck. A neck slam with some attitude. Oh. Ooh, right to the gut. The head of the table cinches it in. It's just a matter of time now. The guillotine is locked in tight. Submission locked in tight. Nowhere to go. No escape. This could be. And he chooses to let go of the hole. But just the amount of time he was in that submission could be very significant. The defensive elbow of the gut ends that. And this match will head back to the ring. Oh, man. He is more than fired up right now. Ouch. 
Wedging the chair into the turnbuckles. Oh, Roman Reigns about to put his opponent away. No getting up from this. Reigns put his stamp on this one. For the win. There's two. Man, that was such a long and hard-fought match. He earned that victory. Here are your winners, Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar. And the winners celebrating together. Great chemistry tonight. This right pairing can certainly do wonders, and make no mistake, this was a wonderful performance tonight.